Hey booktube, Science Fiction Reads here. Uh, today I thought I'd go through a few of the books that I have no shelf space for. A lot of this is hardcover vintage stuff. It's just kept in a spare bedroom. Uh, I don't really have room for it at my new place right now. So I thought I'd just go through some of this stuff. Uh, some of which I've read, most of which I have not. I have a lot of these old Paul Anderson books. Most of which I got for probably a dollar or two each. A lot of which are book club editions. I haven't actually read much Paul Anderson, but I have quite the collection. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, there's another one. James Tripty Jr., another I, an author I have not read yet. But, I mean, book club editions, yeah, they, uh, if the price is right, I always pick those up. Great cover art, classic authors and stories. Got a decent amount of Frederick Pohl's as well, and that's another author I have not read. fantasy here. I've heard good things about this series, but have not read it. Michael Moorcock. And Arthur C. Clarke, which I'm not actually sure why that's out here. That should be on my shelves with the rest of them. Arthur C. Clarke's one of my favorites. Um, a couple of Hamiltons I haven't read. I have read a decent amount of his books. Central Station. Um, I remember this was popular at the time. Um, and I tried it, but I didn't get very far into it. I've got to give it another shot. Um, something Orson Scott Card is probably not well known for. I've never heard of this. I think it was like 50 cents. Memory Called Empire. I won this on a Goodreads, I believe. It's an advanced reader copy, but I have not read it, but I know it's quite popular right now. Here's a couple of I have read. I haven't continued with this Scalzi series, but it was all right. Not as good as Old Man's War. Um, this is really cool. Read a few of the stories in here. Uh, this was by a local author. Fantasy. I've had it for a couple years. Still haven't read it. Margaret Atwood. I think this is the sequel to Oryx and Crake, which I've read, but I have not read the rest. Um, I read Neuromancer by Gibson, but I haven't continued with that series yet. Um, Charles Sheffield, he wrote the uh, Heritage um, series. I think it's called the Heritage Universe. Um, not exactly hard sci-fi, but very cool. Lots of big dumb objects in that uh, series. Gregory Benford, this is a series I almost finished. Very hard sci-fi. 
And I think by the time the last two books in the series arrived in the mail, I just wasn't in the mood to continue. Um, these Ericsons, I always pick these up if they're cheap. I don't know if I'll ever manage to read that. It's got to be one of the most lengthy series out there. CJ's Cherry, one of the first science fiction authors I read. I like her Morgane books. I uh, do look forward to the day where I have more space and can actually have these on my shelf. I think I'll do um, another video, probably two more, uh, in the same vein as this. The rest of my books are in boxes and on a shelf behind me here. But I do miss having them all out and on display. These are cool, and I look forward to finally reading this series, but these are book club editions of a well-known series by Julian May, with just crazy art. Awesome. Fred Hoyle, who was an actual scientist, maybe astrophysicist, I'm not sure. Uh, he wrote a lot of stuff that sounds interesting, but I haven't read any of it yet. I think he wrote The Black Cloud, which is an interesting sounding novel about a sentient sun or a sentient species that comes from a sun. Sounds good, and I have my eye out for that book. David Brin really enjoyed his uh, Uplift books. That must be, a, yeah, book club edition. Very cool art. Another book club edition of, I believe this is well known. I haven't read it. Looks like it would take me quite a while. I think this is one where there's supposed to be a conclusion novel wrote that was never written. Read a few things in here. This book is just nuts with how many authors are in it. Oh, The Last Question by Isaac Asimov, one of my favorite short stories. Last two here, a Philip Jose Farmer novel, and an anthology. Um, so that's it for my hardcovers that I don't have space for. Now this is just some of the paperbacks that I have no space for right now, but you can see there's a lot of well-known authors up there. Probably do a video of those next, and then my closet is just full of boxes of books that I have no space for. Um, so keep an eye out for those videos. Thanks.